Hey everybody, Gary Fernan here for Photo Receptor Cell, and in today's guide I'm going to show you how to sharpen a photo in Photoshop using the high pass filter. Okay guys, here we are in Photoshop, and as always, we begin with Command J, let's duplicate that background. So we're working on a copy. Uh, so any mistakes we can undo with ease. Now, first of all, let's apply an unsharp mask. And we do that by going up to filter, scrolling down to sharpen, and I'm selecting unsharp mask. I'm going to set your radius to two. And you basically, now for this particular photograph, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the eyes are nice and sharp. So let's find the eyes. That one there. Okay, so and then we're going to drag the amount slider just up until we are happy. So let's keep going. Let's try on the hundred. So I like the sharpness on this particular photo at 100%. Now, once you've chosen the amount of sharpness, I want you to reduce it by half. So in this case, I'm going to drop it down to 50, and then hit OK. So, why did I reduce my sharpness by uh, by 50%. Basically, by applying sharpening in two passes rather than one, it results in cleaner sharpening. So with less chance of, it basically creates less chances of halos. Um, so to apply, apply a second pass, hold down Command Alt and F, and what that basically does is it's a keyboard shortcut that applies the last used filter at exactly the same settings. So I liked it at 100%, you drop it by 50%, hit, uh, hold down Alt, Command and F and it applies that 50% again, giving me that 100%. So, duplicate that layer uh, and we are now going to apply the high pass filter. So again, up to filter, down to other and select high pass. Now, it's very easy to get carried away with a high pass. Um, the key to creating realistic sharpening and not going crazy overboard is to have your radius, your pixel radius, just enough so you can see the outline in, of the image. Now, in particular, I want to see, be seeing the outline of the eyes because that's the area that I want to sharpen. So I'm happy with my radius being at 2. So I'm going to hit OK. Come over to your blending. I'm going to change that to overlay. And now if you just toggle between the high pass and your sharpen layer, you'll be able to see the, the difference there. So it's ever so subtle. I haven't overdone it. Um, if I have come into into the eyes, because this is where I want to, uh, to be. And if I toggle that again, there we go. You can just yeah, see it's a, it was a subtle difference. Now, whilst on the high pass layer, we're going to add a layer mask. So if we come down to our layer mask tool, hit Command and I to invert that, and then press D just to make sure that uh, your palette is set to black and white. And then shortcut on the keyboard is B for the brush tool. Uh, and then using the right bracket, I'm just going to increase the brush size. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to brush over the area of the photo that I wish to sharpen. So in this case, the eyes. Now, what you want to be doing is you want to have a nice medium 
to sort of soft edge your brush. Now you don't have to be too neat uh, because you're using a soft edge brush. Brush it will feather the uh, the edges for you. So I'm quite happy with that. So if I come back out again, and there we have it. So if I if I come back in, if we toggle between the, the two again, you'll see the only area that's sharpened is the sh is is around the eyes where I've used the brush, and it is no more difficult than that, guys. And that is how you use the or how to sharpen photographs in Photoshop using the high pass filter. Guys, I hope you found this useful. Uh, and I hope to see you in the uh, the next the next guide. Take care, guys, and I shall see you soon.